Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to be comparing two of the most popular VPNs on the market today, which are ExpressVPN and Surfshark VPN. And in this comparison, I'm going to be diving into the applications on Fire Stick and my MacBook. I'm going to look at features. I'm going to look at the speeds and test each one using Analyti Speed Test. I'm also going to look at protocols, kill switches, ad blocking if applicable. And guys, I'm also going to look at the parent company behind each VPN, as that is a very important factor in my opinion. Before diving into the details, it is important to note that I am affiliated with Surfshark VPN. If you've been following my channel for some time now, you would know that Surfshark is my number one recommended VPN provider. And I do have a special link below that does help support myself and this channel create free videos and tutorials like this one. Now guys, I must say, the reason I am affiliated with Surfshark are for the various reasons I'm going to explain in this video. Now believe me, there are better offers out there for ExpressVPN and for other VPN providers that I will be comparing in the future. So I just wanna be transparent about that as there are many reasons why I am recommending Surfshark and I'm going to explain them in this video. So guys, in order to properly test these, I signed up for a paid account with ExpressVPN. So if I launch the Fire Stick application on ExpressVPN, one of the first things I notice is it has more of a, an Android feel to me. The, the Fire Stick application is a little clunky in my opinion. Now, what I do like about Express is it's just a one click. You don't really have to scroll much to be connected to the VPN and start protecting yourself online. So I just did that here as it says connected. The other thing too I like about Express is they do have a lot of server options. So if I click servers and I scroll down, you'll see various servers here in different countries. I believe they have hundreds, if not thousands of different servers. I like how they have a smart location, recent locations, and also recommended locations. So I do like that about Express. And if I go into the options here and go into some of the settings, you know, one thing I want to look at are the different protocols that Express VPN offers. So they do have auto connect. That's a cool feature from VPNs. I do like to have that disabled though. Uh, they do have split tunneling. That's a great VPN feature. And with protocols, they do offer some of the best protocols here. Now, I noticed that they have, you know, a lightweight protocol, which is engineered by ExpressVPN themselves. Um, they do have OpenVPN, which is one of the most popular VPN protocols. But guys, I do not see WireGuard protocol. And WireGuard is one of the best VPN protocols. And I'm going to speed test. I'm actually going to speed test the lightweight UDP protocol. So if I click that... And then I come back and click settings and I go back to VPN protocol. This is apparently ExpressVPN's fastest protocols. It says optimize for speed. So I'm going to test this with Surfshark's WireGuard protocol in this video. So long story short, guys, I do like these protocols that ExpressVPN has to offer. And if I scroll down, what I also like about ExpressVPN is they have these additional advanced protection features. So they have trackers. You can block trackers, malicious sites. They have their own custom ad blocker, and that's a great feature that Surfshark offers as well. And you can also block adult sites. So I do like to see these additional features offered by Surfshark VPN. There are some other settings here that you can mess around with. But guys, for the purposes of this video, without going too much in the weeds, I'm going to run a speed test between Surfshark VPN and ExpressVPN. So if I come back, I want to double check I'm on the Lightway protocol. And if I hit the home button on my remote, I'm going to test this using Analyti Speed Test. Analyti Speed Test is my preferred speed test tool that can be installed in the Google Play and Amazon App Store. And guys, for the purposes of this test as well, I am using the same Wi-Fi connection through Google Fiber. I am on the same device, which is the new Fire TV Stick 4K Max second generation. And I also am connected to the exact same Chicago location. That way there are no other variables or discrepancies in this speed test. So you'll see I am using ExpressVPN right now, and I'm getting 65 megabits per second down and 95 megabits per second up. Excuse me, it looks like it ticked up here at the end. 100 megabits per second up, which is very good for speeds. There is no denying that. And guys, ExpressVPN is a very quality product. There's just You just can't deny that as you have started to test this and test the speeds as well. 
So I'm going to note this down 65 megabits per second down 100 megabits per second up, which is good speeds for everything that you would need for streaming. So if I come back to express, I'm going to make sure that I am disconnected. So if I click the VPN, I'm going to click the power button and I'm not connected. And now I'm going to come back to Surfshark. So if I click the back button on my remote and I click back again and I'm going to launch Surfshark now. So with Surfshark, what I'm going to do to make this, you know, a complete test here is I'm first going to connect to the Chicago server as I was just connected to Chicago on ExpressVPN. The other thing I want to do is I want to ensure that I am on the WireGuard protocol and it looks like I am on WireGuard. So after I'm connected to the Chicago server on the WireGuard protocol, I'm going to launch Analyti speed test again. And I am curious to see what types of speeds that I get with Surfshark VPN. And again, guys, these speeds will vary on numerous factors, whether it's your internet package or, you know, the device that you're using. There's just so many different variables that go into internet speeds. So right here, as it's pinging my speed with Surfshark, I do get 90 megabits per second down and it looks like up is a similar thing here. So I'm getting a little over 100 megabits per second up. So when compared to ExpressVPN, I do have better speeds with Surfshark VPN on the WireGuard protocol. Now it's not by much here as I am 90 megabits per second down. I believe I got 60 with Express and then I did get 100 megabits per second up and I got about 100 with Express. So the speeds are similar, but I would give the nod to Surfshark in this example. Now, if I come back to the Surfshark application on Firestick, I wanna show you some of the features that I did with Express. Now, similar to Express, if I click Surfshark, they offer this clean web feature. Now, this is an ad blocker and it blocks malware tracker. So Express also has a feature like this, which is great. And if I click settings and VPN settings, it does offer a working kill switch. Now, ExpressVPN does not offer a kill switch on their Fire TV and Fire Stick application. Um, and I think this is a big deal, guys, because what's the point of using a VPN if you do not have a kill switch? And if you're unfamiliar with a kill switch, this simply disables your internet connection if your VPN connection were to drop or turn off for whatever reason. So that's a big deal. Same with protocols. Now, I know Express has, you know, their own custom protocols that they engineer themselves. But guys, the WireGuard protocol is a game changer for me. As I just showed you, you know, the speeds that I got with the WireGuard protocol on Surfshark were better, were better than ExpressVPN's protocols. They do offer the IKEV2 protocol and then also OpenVPN, just like Express does as well. So guys, I hope that gave you a quick glance, you know, just comparing the Firestick applications with ExpressVPN versus Surfshark VPN. Now I'm going to hop over to my MacBook and I'm going to continue this review with some other important details. All right, guys, so let's hop over and take a look at the pricing of ExpressVPN versus Surfshark VPN. Now, price is one of the most important factors when deciding which VPN that you should purchase. So with Surfshark, with our special discount link where you can save 85% plus four free months, you can get $2.73 per month. Now you can even get the starter pack here for $2.21 per month for 27 months or 28 months. Um, so guys, in terms of price, Surfshark is, is very competitive and they are very hard to beat with their pricing. If I hop over to Express, what you will find is that for their 12 month discount with three months free, it is $6.67 per month. So almost, you know, double if not triple to what you are paying for Surfshark. Now, again, I will say this again, ExpressVPN is a quality product. There is no denying that. But if price is a factor for you, is an important factor for you, I would give the nod to Surfshark on price. I think it's pretty clear why this is. Another important detail that, guys, I, I just cannot dismiss when talking about ExpressVPN is their parent company. Now, the parent company of ExpressVPN, if you're unfamiliar, is called Cape Technologies. And I have a whole separate video on, you know, brands like Cape Technologies and other big media conglomerates on why they cannot be trusted. I will leave a link to that in the video description below. But long story short, guys, I do not trust Cape Technologies at all. If you're familiar with VPNMentor.com, for example, so if I type in VPNMentor.com, 
and hover over ownership. They own all of these different VPN review sites and conveniently rank ExpressVPN as their number one best VPN deal. You'll see best VPN here is Express, 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 and their other VPN products as well. So I simply just cannot trust Cape Technologies and anything that they do, to be completely honest with you. Now, for full transparency, if you are unaware, Surfshark is part of the Nord Security Group. So the same company that owns Nord VPN also owns Surfshark VPN. And guys, they are based outside of the United States as well. And I personally trust this company, Nord Security, a lot more than I trust Cape Technologies. Cape Technologies is based in the United Kingdom. And you can scroll through. I'll leave a link to you know all of this in the video description below just so you guys can do your due diligence and take another look if you are curious. Um, but that's it, guys. Again, I am affiliated with Surfshark, but I hope in this video that you could you know see some reasons here why I did choose Surfshark over ExpressVPN. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. I appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Guys, I hope this VPN comparison video helped you out in making your decision. Um, and I look forward to bringing you more VPN comparisons just like this one in the near future. Hope you all have a great day.